welcome back we started solving this question in the previous video and we considered the first part that is we constructed the quadrilateral a b c d in this video we are going to consider the four remaining parts so let's begin this is the quadrilateral we constructed in the previous video the next part of the question says that we should construct l1 the locus of points equidistant from c and d we have learned from the previous videos that the locus of points equidistant from two fixed points is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two fixed points so here the locus of points equidistant from c and d will be the perpendicular bisector of the line joining point c to point d so to get l1 we will have to bisect the line cd to do that I'll take the compass and I'll put the needle on either point C or point D. I'll first put it on point D. Then I'll open the compass to more than half of the line CD. After that, I'll turn the compass and construct an arc here. Then I'll turn it to this side and construct another arc. With the same radius, I'll move the needle of the compass to point C. After that, I'll turn it, construct an arc to intersect the first arc that I constructed, then turn it to this side and construct another arc to intersect the first one that I constructed. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and I'll clean here too. I'll come to this side and clean here and clean here also. To get the perpendicular bisector of the line CD, I'll draw a straight line to join the points of intersection of the two arcs. So we now have the perpendicular bisector of the line CD. The question says that this perpendicular bisector will give us L1. Let's move on to the next part of the question. It says that we should construct L2, which is the locus of points equidistant from the line AD and the line CD. We have learned from the previous videos that the locus of points equidistant from two intersecting lines is the bisector of the angle formed between the two lines. So here, the locus of points equidistant from the line AD and the line CD will be the bisector of the angle formed between the line AD and the line CD. We have the line AD here, and we have the line CD here. They meet at point D. So the angle formed between the two lines is formed at point D. To get the locus, we will have to bisect the angle formed at point D. To do that, I'll move the needle of the compass to point D. Then I'll adjust the compass to a reasonable radius. After that, I'll turn it and construct an arc to intersect the line AD and the line CD, just as I've done here. After this, I'll move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the arc and the line CD. Then I'll adjust the compass a little bit, turn it, and construct an arc. With the same radius, I'll move the needle of the compass to this point. That is the point of intersection of the arc and the line AD. After that, I'll turn the compass and construct an arc to intersect the first one that I constructed. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and I'll clean this part also. To get the bisector of the angle formed at point D, we will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point D. The question says that we should call this locus L2. So we have L2 here. Let's move on to the next part of the question. It says that locate P, the point of intersection of L1 and L2. We can see from our construction that L1 and L2 intersect at this point. Their point of intersection will give us P. So we have P here. Let's move on to the last part of the question. It says that we should measure the length of DP. To measure the length of DP, you will put the needle of the compass on either point D or point P. I'm going to choose point D. 
So I'll put the needle of the compass on point D. Then I'll stretch the other part to point P. In the same way, if you put the needle of the compass on point P, you stretch the other part to point D. Here, the needle of the compass is on point D, so I'll stretch the other part to point P. By doing this, I've measured the length of DP using the compass. To get the length of the line DP, I'll pick the ruler and put the needle of the compass on point zero. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point zero. Then I'll read the point where the part of the compass holding the pencil meets the ruler. On my ruler, the part of the compass holding the pencil meets the ruler at 49 millimeters. The scale I'm using on my ruler is in millimeters and 49 millimeters is equal to 4.9 centimeters. So the length of the line DP is 4.9 centimeters. I'm going to take both the compass and the ruler off so that you can see the quadrilateral clearly. We started solving this question in the previous video. We began by constructing the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. In this video, we constructed L1, the locus of points equidistant from the point C and D. And we also constructed L2, the locus of points equidistant from the line AD and the line CD. After that, we measured the length of DP, where point P is the point of intersection of L1 and L2, and the length of DP is 4.9 centimeters. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to solve another likely examination question on construction. Bye bye.